welcome back to Little Mythic Classic and today is a big day because I know I told you guys a lot that the big store storage unit I have down here it's not finished and I want to get it finished well today we're going to start that previous owner of our property um, sort of restored this building it had a lower roof before he raised it up put the roof on all that he did nothing else so the floor in here is really bad but today they're tearing it up the floor uh, and then during this whole weekend, they're gonna, you know, level it off and all that. And probably sometime next week, they will pour down on the concrete. But this is step one into building my dream garage. So they've started a little bit. I've just been gone for maybe an hour or so. And they're already gone quite a bit. All of this arrived yesterday. So we're also doing other f construction things. We're building a new road here out to a new riding paddock or arena out there and uh, yeah they are quite busy I got some stuff that I just didn't have time to move that we're gonna sort out but it's out of the way for them and then they got a small little digger inside to see maybe we can look through the window here and see what they're up to I'm gonna try and go inside a little bit later when that tractor leaves and try to show you guys what's been going on so far. All right. So they've already got a lot of the floor out. And uh, we got lasers and things going on. Looks really cool. So we're gonna try and get the new floor. It's gonna be reinforced, of course. We're gonna have it as low as possible to maximize the ceiling height because I do have a dream of someday having a lift in here and a later project will also be putting a proper inner ceiling in and we're going to insulate it and of course the space is going to be heated and we're going to have different doors so it's just going to be easy to get cars in and out of here um, so i don't plan on doing any work in here like it shouldn't be a workshop i really just plan on being a good storage place for eight cars It's day two here and lots of progress has been made. Like I said before, we're doing sort of a couple of projects at the same time while we have the construction crew here and all the material. So um, there's gonna be a new road going here. They started on going all the way down to where the horses are over here. And um, yeah, you see, they're starting making it here. It's gonna go all the way down there where it is gonna be a riding paddock or sort of a, a not covered riding arena. So we're digging that out at the same time. That's because they're using all the concrete that they took out from that building to uh, uh, just use it as material underneath the road. So uh, sort of really good recycling there. And uh, yeah, lots has been going on. So they're gonna finish this now during the weekend. It's uh, Saturday right now. And then early next week, we're going to have the concrete truck come in. And then they're going to, uh, you know, put concrete in there, reinforce it and all of that. So this is what it's looking like right now. So they got the um, heavier stuff underneath that they've already like packed really, really tightly. And then they're putting this fine stuff underneath to level everything off perfectly. Then it's just ready to uh, pour the concrete. They got lasers and things going on. so. Uh, I'm not going to disturb them, but uh, it's looking really, really good. So this is the beginning of the dream garage. And I think I mentioned before, so the whole idea down there is to have storage uh, for up to eight cars. So you can easily get four of them out. And the other four will be, I mean, it will be easy to get out, but it takes a little bit more work. So the idea behind that is just to have, so the four cars I like to use the most, get them out easily. And I mean, later there's going to be a new ceiling in there. We're going to do 
uh, heating and ventilation system. It's not going to be as warm as the workshop, but we're going to have a ventilation system so it's not any humidity in there and keep it pretty nice and warm. Uh, you know, I mean, not like inside temperatures, but you know, warm enough. I thought I'd show you just a little bit what's going on in here. You'll probably see it in the next video. Got the Range Rover in here. It barely, barely fits, but if you lower the suspension and let the air out of the tires, it does. And that's because I'm doing the uh, elusive hose underneath the supercharger, which, uh, well, I've gotten some bits off. I'm about to get the throttle bodies off, a few other things to lift the supercharger out, and then have a look at that hose, which is this one over here, rather complicated and rather expensive. But before we round off, we're gonna have to look at the parking outside because it is just full of Jags at the moment. A couple Daimlers, and it looks really cool. How about that for a parking lot? Don't mind the rental there. My parents are visiting for Easter, so they got a rental at the airport. But we have a customer's XJS that I'm almost done with. It's just that this whole building stuff came in between, but I'll talk to him, it's no problem. XJ40, XJ6, rental, XJ12, and that Daimler double six that really is always at my house. It's a customer's car, but we have a deal. I take care of the car and when he needs it, he comes and picks it up. Otherwise it stays with me. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of work to it. If you remember last year, I did all the fuel hoses and spark plugs and all that. It runs great now, but we're going to do the coolant hoses and the belts and then it's pretty good to go. It's going to get new tires as well and it has a leak in the AC somewhere. But otherwise, that is good to go. Back here is my mom's car. She um, doesn't really use it anymore, so it's actually going to be for sale a little bit later. It's a very nice low mileage BMW Z3. First year, it's a 96, 1.8 manual, of course. Very, very fun car. Uh, I'd like to describe it as a German British sports car. Just a great fun little car. But uh, they didn't really have any need for it anymore. But uh, my neighbors must really think I'm sort of crazy with all these over here. But it's a nice way to see the difference between a Series 2 and a Series 3. Just really how different the roof lines are. But uh, yeah, it's fun to have them all out. Also with these two next to each other, we could do a famous music video that we all know with the uh, white and the black Series 3. That was cool. And then we got these two over here. Gotta do something about the tires for the XJ6, because as of yesterday, you can't use studs anymore. So we're gonna have to do like a little switching around thing and go to the tire shop, get some tires mounted on different rims. And uh, yeah, Daimler is still running strong and working well. Anyways, that is it for this video. A little bit of a different episode, but uh, I wanted to give you guys an update what's going on. Haven't had too much time to work on the cars due to, uh, like I mentioned in one of the community posts, my wife isn't doing too well. So it's also why we have some family here helping out. Uh, but we'd planned this whole building thing a long time ago. So uh, we're you know continuing with that. And it's gonna be really great to have a nice place to park them. I had other cars in there before, but the floor wasn't really good. And it was, it got, got very easily really dirty in there. So this will be, this will be really nice. And then, I have nice white walls and I have I bought a lot of cool sort of old merchandise and memorabilia that we're just going to cover the walls with and just make it look really 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 cool um, anyways I hope you guys liked the little update and there will be a part two to this video when it's all done I'll try to film when they pour out the concrete then we'll let that set and then we'll put the cars in there and I'll, of course I'll show you that uh, next video should be tinkering hopefully it will be with the Range Rover uh, if everything goes well with getting the parts for that, otherwise uh, maybe it'll be something in between. But thank you, thank you so much for all the support on that community post. I just really felt like I wanted to tell you what's going on in my life. But thank you so much. It means a lot to my family that uh, so many guys were concerned about her uh, her health. And that uh, that really, really means a lot. But uh, If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. 
Until next time, I'm Adam. This was Loma for Classic. I'll see you soon.